everyone. Welcome back. It is a very cold St. Patty's Day, March 17th. Norm recorded this outside, but because of the freeway noise, I decided to just use voiceover for this. We are at Nostalgia, a really nice antique mall. And Rebecca, the owner, was uh, very happy to allow us to film her beautiful shop today with no music on. So we hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for being here. This is a really nice shop. We uh, stop here quite a bit. And it's well laid out and well lit. And everything is fun to look at. Peggy's found several things already, as is the case. That's the hazard about videotaping an antique shop. <laughs> Peggy ends up buying stuff. And I'll get Peggy on the camera here soon. She's the one that knows everything about everything. But they've got quite a selection of just about anything you'd want. Look at these cows, that's funny. Cow parade. Hmm. Out in Buffalo, Minnesota, they have big cement buffaloes in a lot of the yards and the businesses out there. It's kind of fun to look at, they're all decorated differently. I've always liked these Halt Howard. Wow, they got a nice collection here. French dress, oh, that's some backlit, so that's kind of hard to see, but. French dressing, cherries, yeah, that'd be a fun set to have. Oh, I'm in love. Look at this. Mmm, 65. Oh, I just feel really guilty getting pieces that are really expensive. They are worth it. They're absolutely gorgeous. Empoli Apothecary. Oh, optic green. They're calling it a lidded jar. And there's more pretties over here. Candy dish for 22. Press glass. I assume. And this is also very pretty. What I would, they're calling it a goblet for 23. I would call that brandy sniffer um, style. Look at this pottery, big pottery piece. Marked down to 25. Royal Hager, really? Oh, didn't realize that does say as is though. I'm not sure about that. This is huge. Blango, really? That's what that sticker says. This is huge. It is 45. 13 inch high, I assume. Yeah, wow. I'm always looking for green in March. Love finding green things. Huh, there's one of those funny... Uh, I think they were like... Lawn wear? Brand. I'm not sure. I've seen other pieces. I think it was called Lawnwear. Something crazy. I don't know. But anyways, you know those lights. Those fun lights are normally patio lights. I've never seen a long one. Hmm. That's different. But anyways, this is also really fun. 34. 
they're getting more expensive these particular pieces and I don't know who made that funny fun little uh, paperweight only five that's a deal Ooh, heavy though for a small shelf very heavy but that is gorgeous what is this say rare ice house neon sign $375 oh isn't that cool wow now I see the pattern I wasn't sure what it was saying at the top but now I can tell pretty neat these guys are really characters here I bought one I'll put it in my window for Easter here. They're really cute. The woman's very good at it, but again, it's a problem with it being back clip because of the picture window here. We'll see how it looks when we get it in the computer. Peggy was spotting this big bird here. 24 carat, weeping gold. Wow. He's down the hauler. Schwartzky. It's nice stuff. Oh, look at that. Flower there. That's cool. Peggy always checks out the Pyrex over here. They got a huge selection of it. Almost looks like our basement. Yeah, they got a lot of what looks like complete sets. I'm no expert at that, but I guess that's what that would be considered. Uh, old Ford. I wonder if that's like a 49 maybe. Franklin Mint. Club Coupe. Yeah, lots of Pyrex. I wonder if Peggy spot us amber bottle here. Swung Viking, $48. He's got so many of those. Probably needs one like another hole in the head. They're having a sale on their Longa Burger baskets. 20% off. This is a nice planter. USA Pottery, 18. I like the colors, but I typically look for Footed ones are my, they're my favorite. So there's some very pretty blue glass over here. A gorgeous art glass. Um, what do you call that again? Your center, centerpiece for the council bowl. Yeah, that's what I think I call that. Some more art glass. This is very pretty. I have these in milk glass on the wall. I've never gotten into the blue ones. Sixteen. That's a really nice little bud face. I like it. But look at these in blue and green. Not my colors. Sixty dollars for the set. I have them in the multi 
colors of what would be more natural, like more realistic, I should say. I, uh, yeah, they're pheasants. Well, they're similar. I, I suppose people call them, often call them pheasants, but she's saying like Art Nouveau birds. Pretty fun. Glass lamp base up there. Lots of Afghans. It's very nice. They turned the music off for us so we could film today. 25 for a fun little elf planter. Norm's a few booths over. I'm trying to stay away from him so he can talk and we don't interfere with each other. I like this. Mark down 18. Hand-blown pear. Glass pear. I like that and these are pretty. Norm's getting too close. Let's see what that says. That's all. Um, it's just a plain amber apothecary. I was noticing this little saddle, it's all hand tooled. $18. Trying to think if I have any ponies at home that I would fit on. It's really elaborate, I've never seen one like that. That size, anyways. Well, let's see if that'll get back up there okay. There we go. I like that. Lots of beautiful glassware. Yeah, that's nice. This is a good size shop. Lots to look at. Fifteen dollars for this one. That's pretty nice, but we got a lot of it, so, and Peggy knows that, of course. Green Bay fans here in Wisconsin, Green Bay Packers. Oh, that's a nice set of display fishing lures. So many people buy these ones, and they're very expensive. These prices seem to be very reasonable. Serenos here, the red and white ones. That's Peggy on the other side of the wall here, talking to herself. Yeah, you're getting too close. I'm getting too close. <laughs> These are really, really sweet wooden bookends. Oh, yeah, is that wood? Yeah. Isn't that wow. nice? Oh, yeah, look at how that's uh, carved. Forty-six dollars. Yeah. So they don't, they're not identical, but that's sweet that they're right. um, a pair. Very nice. Yeah. I like those. Uh, that's cute. You don't see these very often. Only six dollars. That's pretty good. You want that one? No, because I just don't have... Um, any others that are shaped like it? No, I probably do, but I think mine are bigger. It's the same on both sides. That's nice, it's patterns on both sides. Yeah, that's more special when they are. Right. I don't like it when sometimes they'll have Is a, this metal? a smaller, yep, a smaller one. Yeah, it's enamel. Oh. 
Because you're right. starting to collect a lot of that stuff now, aren't you? Yeah, it's a little too flowery for me, and it looks like it's oh. been... Isn't that something, how that stuff yeah, gets they really chipped chip off? On the That's so sad. Careful. I've never seen a Watkins design before. No. That's something new to me. Hmm. At uh, Menards, they have a Watkins display. A whole display, yeah. And I was working over there after retired, after two years, and getting tired of sitting around. I went over there and did some early morning stocking jobs. Yeah. And I really liked filling that up because it was always such a mess. Uh -huh. People come in, they'll grab a spice, and, and then, then they won't put, put it, it back. put it back in the right place. Yeah, yeah and then they'd get a huge display of them or additional stock coming in did you do you remember were they actually different colored tins or are they all the same pretty much the same uh -huh. color uh it's not like the vintage containers color. you know yeah norm just bought me a vintage one that said clothes clothes on right yeah Watch they're it. getting expensive the Watkins ones. look at this horse over here peggy yeah it's a base Royal Copley, I assume. Yeah. A lot of this is Royal Copley in here. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, it's Royal Copley. I got a dog here. That's a very fancy vase. 35. This is California pottery, though. It uh -huh. says. I can believe that. That's really cool. Oh, nice birds. There's that uh, deer. I see a lot of that deer shape. Head. Yeah, we have the bigger one with the fawn under her. I like this guy here. Yeah, they're fun. Oh, and some hall. Looks like maybe hall stuff up there. Way up on top? Way up. Uh, oh, wow. I'm not certain about the flowery ones, but the Art Deco ones. They've got a lot of variety in this store. Yeah. That's nice sets here. Yeah, that's really nice. Wow, this guy's really funny. It's a Fitz and Floyd 22. Wow, really? Yeah, Fitz and Floyd does some pretty that fancy, is. elaborate. Yeah, things. yeah, they got a lot of nice stuff. Yep. Look at the side of this Easter egg, all glass. Yeah, I didn't do that one either. Fifteen dollars. But, but I did do the Empoli, the, all the glass things. So. Yeah. Okay. But I yeah, won't. I didn't happen to show that big egg. That is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. That's an old flower. Looks like an old bisquick, bisquick tin. Would that be for putting flour in? Uh, well, bisquick is a baking mix of flour. And oh, it's got all the recipes on it. Probably, I don't know if there's baking soda, baking powder in it, mm -hmm. maybe some shortening in it. I don't know. I don't remember. I haven't made anything with this quick for years. Do you know what the name of this set is? My mom had this. Yeah, always, it's by Hall. I always thought that was so cool. I think. Uh, not Let's reading see if it I can very get well. close to that. It's the autumn. That doesn't help. <laughs> it's autumn. It's an autumn pattern, yeah. Yeah. Boy, are they small. Usually everything I've seen like that is really large pieces. Uh, let's see. Let's you show the bottom. When you step back, you get a... Okay. I'll adjust the camera. There we go. Um. Halls Superior. Tested and approved. Hmm, come on. There we go. Mary Dunn. Quality Car kitchenware. Tested and approved. When I step back, it shows you how small these things are compared to what the uh, coffee pitcher and everything that I'm used to seeing that my mom had. Oh, yeah, big big pieces. The left set that's square is newer Corel. We have some square ones, but I don't think I've ever seen the small round the round ones. Hmm. Uh -huh. I don't need any more Corel. I've got a lot, but that's very pretty. Oh, look at this cracker, cheese and crackers, and dip oh, tray. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, see this nice set over there in the corner, too. Look at that, all this. Crooksville Petite Point Come on. House. Yeah, Petite Point House. I don't know. I've never, I think that's what it says. I don't know, maybe it doesn't. P 
P-E-T-I-T. -E -I, I don't know what that is. What a... This is depression glass. Half still type. covers kind of colors. Maybe more depression glass. I don't know. Not sure. Some of it looks newer though. Yeah. This is pretty. It's a nice display here. I don't know the age. Oh, they got a huge display of records here. Boy, you could find any one you want here. That's more booths across the aisle. Fashion Art Litho. Got a lot of glitter from the plastic sheeting covering it. This old dress. Yeah, cool. That's only three fifty. Kind of cute. Um, that's a carved wood. Was that fifteen? Fifteen. Cat, yeah. Wood. Yeah, it's wood. And over here. Little Humpty Dumpty kids. Humpty Dumpty? Yeah. Yeah. A little kids glass, I assume. It's a little hefty for a kid to lift, but yeah. it's ten dollars. At least when you drop that one it won't break, huh? Is oh. Tom Tom? I don't know who that is, do you? Piper. Piper. Piper's son. Tom Tom's Piper's son. Tom Tom is that Piper's a... son son. Nursery rhyme? Yep. I don't know. Yep. Definitely kids. This guy looks like he's bummed out. <laughs> Lots of dolls. It's a cute one here. Blue eyes. Quite a few dolls here. Fancy dolls. Yeah. And behind you, there's a yeah, very we... fancy baby in the crib, in an old wooden crib over here. Okay. Wow. Russian tea cozy. Oh my goodness. What's Peggy getting all excited about? A Russian tea cozy. You know what a tea cozy is? It's supposed to go over your teapot, but that looks to me more like it would fit over a toaster. Oh. And that too. Aren't they funny? Oh, these are really. Oh, they're so cute. You think they're toaster covers? Well, uh, it says tea cozy to go over a teapot, but. Too cozy. Their faces and everything are material. Russian. Yeah, I've never seen that. No, I haven't either. Sorry, there's a fan going. We're getting, well, it's like right over our heads here. This thing really rocks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's got nice legs. Peggy would really like these. Shelves like that when you can find two that are alike for displaying stuff. No, well, they're probably not so much my style, but a lot of people would like the wood. Yeah. Um, oh, these are really probably not marked. No, not marked. Um, here's a cute little Vogue doll. So that's old. Mm -hmm. 15. Little Irish girl. Oh, there's more. More down there. What's that thing? A really little tidbit. Oh, California dish. pottery. Yeah, speckled. Yeah, it's nice. Very, very petite one. Nice and deep though. The candies. Look at this. 
cabinet. Wow. I've got a shirt just like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> hmm. You'll have to model that one for me. Yeah, yeah. That's what um, Seinfeld. Seinfeld? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Seinfeld, he had that puffy shirt. Jerry Seinfeld. Was like a uh, Jerry Seinfeld, he had the segment That's on it. A puffy shirt, like he's a pirate almost. And yeah. I guess he didn't care for having to wear that for some reason or another, but yeah. all of his uh, episodes were so funny. And George and still Elaine. Going on. Nice purple stuff here. That's a fun Ben Franklin, do you think? Or I don't know why I think it's Ben. It's I got don't him. know. He's got a similar stomach. <laughs> oh, but I mean, oh, I've never seen that style. I had two of those in milk glass uh -huh. in my our little hut by Imperial. Hmm. Yeah. But I've never seen it now. Oh, that's pretty too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. If you like amethyst, it's only 18. That's really nice. Here's a nice basket. I almost thought it might have been, uh, oh, there were cups and plates in there and oh, napkins basket. and all that. Probably. You know, they make uh, baskets like that for fishermen when they're fly fishing. Yeah. They're all woven like that. This is called Belik, B-E-L-L-E-E-K, Belik. Very popular. Um, it's always got, it's Irish, I assume. Very what popular. the heck are these guys about? Oh, weird. I don't know. Chinese zodiac, zodiac. figures. Okay. Oh, strange. Okay, well, I don't know much about Boy, that. That's a really antique looking uh, planter or something? Probably. You think? No, I'm not. It's a doll carriage. Yeah, but. From the 1900s. Somebody could use that for a planter. An antique one, toy one. Not with real dirt in it, though. Yeah. I mean, just... Oh, cool. It's got a button look on it. Isn't that different? Very and nice. Got a... And there's no mark in the bottom, but... And it's on that little base. So, though. oh, this is Metlocks. By Metlocks of California. If you can read upside down and backwards, you can see exactly uh, what that tell. says. And it is $35. When I was yeah, it's really, really fancy. First year out of college, I got a job working in a printing and engraving shop, and I had to be able to read printing upside, upside down and backwards oh, yeah. to make sure that the dies were spelled right. Wow. So I could read wow. stuff backwards yeah. as well. I can read it forward. Well, then you should have been able to figure that out. Yeah. And the teapot set. Vintage. Top. Ouch. Top one. I don't know. Ah, oh, these are cool. Wow. Two matching lamps. Yeah, and they got these, uh, like leather shades on them. Got a little different view from the other side here. Dragon lamp, ninety-five dollars. Another one over here. That's nice. Yeah, cool. We're at the back of the store now, on the one side. Haven't gotten over the other side yet, but got a lot of electronics and stereo equipment, camera. Here uh, is some uh, movie projectors, old radio. I think she has a point she's trying to make. Yeah, she's determined to make it too. Yeah, this boat and car is nice, but the trailer's missing. 
I have a set like that and it's got a trailer for the boat. I love boats. Love boats. Did I mention I love boats? I could do a video on all the boats I've had. Shop's got a lot of nice jewelry, of course. A lot of beautiful glassware. Wow. Oh. Korean dark locust jar. Okay. There's a fancy booth over here. around the corner here. Oh, I should have got spooky eyes. I don't know over here. It's kind of cute. I woke up to that laying next to me in the morning, I think I'd be a little worried. Kind of spooky looking. Here's our Batwing Slipshade Art Deco Original. Okay. Like the rabbit. Lots of fun cookie jars. I don't think there's a cookie in one of them, though. I know there isn't. I already checked. Campbell soup. I like a lot of art glass. I know it's not retro, but it's very pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. It's a nice rearing horse. Peggy's got a couple of these uh, pottery things that Somebody else had a problem with it when they made it too. It didn't turn out quite right. But at least they tried. So it looks like it's got a candy jar with a candy inside. Oh, look at this one. Iridescent. $42. That's a nice price for something that big. He likes all the strip glaze stuff. But I'm sure when she gets over here, she's going to say that, no, I got all those already. The only one I got a question about is this one here. 22. I don't think she's got one like that. Okay, what else we got around here? Oh, that's an incense burner. <laughs> Okay, I thought maybe he was asking for money or food, or both. $13 for an owl mug. Cool looking. Wow, those eyes look like they're crystals, actually, the way it's painted. Here's a nice uh, Pinocchio print. Lots of Irish stuff over here. Couple of bookends. Peggy's not into leprechauns. Otherwise, they'd be hauling them home. And 
This is the other aisle to the store, and that's the front of it up there. There's a blue and green swan, but it looks to me to be a napkin holder, which I've never noticed one like that. Normally they're a dish. That's really different. I might be wrong, but sure looks like it to me. This is a really little dish, California dish. Uh, $9. Splatter glaze on the bottom and very gold base on it. Peggy finally caught up with me. We're over here in the corner, which is pretty colorful. Yeah, the back corner here, I just love looking in here because I usually do find like the California pottery over there. I showed them that. I think That it, vase is really neat, the tall one. Uh, see, folks, she's looking at the vase I thought she might like. Yeah. <laughs> he knows me, I guess. Well, I know pretty me. much what you get because I'm the one yeah. lugging it out to the car. Yep, he knows. Yeah, there's wonderful pieces back here. Wow. It's too bad. It's, um... It's brass? Yeah, it sure is. Well, that must it's be heavy. Ho it's hollow. Oh, hollow. Okay, that's yeah, good. I Otherwise, the glass would probably break I, through. It kind of sounds like it. It does, yeah. It doesn't sound... I th it has to be. It would be very heavy, but... Yeah, that's amazing. $48 for a brass cat. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, don't bother checking. The cookies very are all fun. gone. Oh. Okay. That's pretty. Oh, see that? I've probably looked at this before. It is $28. It's McCoy. Vintage McCoy. I love pedestal ones, but that is more on the gold side. I would be probably looking for more on the green side. But that's very pretty. It is, yeah. Look at these mice cups. Uh -huh, that's funny. It looks like something a little kid could play with. In her. Apartment 56. Oh. I can get the label here so you can see it. So you've gone through Set all of four. Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of brushed through here. I didn't oh, look at that. go to a lot of detail because you're the one that's detail oriented. Now that is a gorgeous piece. Look at the gold bottom on it. The holder. Oh, that is really pretty pottery. Let's see if I can. 24 only? Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. California. Oh, that's gonna be fun to store. But isn't that cool? Yeah. You can't tell. I was wondering if it was Frank Moreno. This is gorgeous, isn't it? 22, oh, that's gorgeous. I knew she'd like that, folks. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I have a lot of orange vases. That's a different style, that's for sure. It's very, oh, very different. And I have this pair of roosters. I have them. But they're very fun. Yeah. Very showy. In one Dalmatian's wall hanging. Oops, now I lost his head behind there. Wow, that's neat. Yeah, it's lucite. You can tell by the flowers. Right, yeah. That this is inspired uh, lucite and piece where, well, you know, molded there, over there were a, a lot print. of... Uh, pieces of kitchen lucite where they used even flowers where they put a calico cloth print uh -huh. in back really so you could see through it yeah because they just put clear over a print so that is definitely yeah the 70s I walked right by that one I'd say a 70s lucite. see it's always a Peggy better when Peggy hangs with me because <laughs> I'm oblivious oblivious to half of this stuff Oh, I love this too. Anything with a stand like that with ball feet. That's so neat. Look at this little relish tray set. Oh, so mod, huh? Nice hefty gold frame. It's a uh, one piece. Only 14. That's crazy with all that gold on it. Oh, so mod. Yep, I love that. 
And here's a whole set of summer impressions. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Huh. Well, I should say a whole set of mugs and a creamer and a sugar. That's very nice. And these I've always thought were real fun. Japan pitchy tray with mushrooms in the middle that hold toothpicks. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I like those. And what are these? Anchor Hawking snack sets. Probably clear. Yeah, it says crystal. Still in the box. And this is Red Wing. The quail pattern. I think. Quail. Some more Pyrex up there. And other brands. I don't know, glass bake, whatever. It's more down here. No, I'm just getting that really neat. Sh I don't know that I call it a chafing dish, but a let's get a better look at it. Oh, isn't that cool? That's so springy. Oh, thank you. Did you check to see if it's you have to be very careful with these lids. Yeah, it's... Uh, They're very hard to grasp because yeah. they don't stick up there well. on this vase, so it's kind of slippery. Yeah. I'm afraid oh, to tip it over. Isn't that fun? Oh, it's so cool. $24. That's really reasonable. Vintage pottery. Thanks, right. hon. Yeah. They have lots of toys. I'm sure the kids have a blast in here between all the vinyl records and all the toys and clothing. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this. Oh, isn't that cute? That's gotta be a perfume bottle, do you think? Really tiny in there? Fifteen dollars. It's a pin. Oh, so cute. Oh, that is really sweet. Yeah, I I don't need brooches. I think it's adorable, but I don't wear them very much. And I already have the one that's on the heart box. If I really wanted to wear a mink poodle pin, but that's adorable and good price. How cute. What a surprise hiding in here, and this is very fun. With the bird cages on it. Look at that. It could be newer. I don't know. Uh, $11. From Fossil. Oh, yes. Look at that. Upside down, but... Neat. I recognize that name. I see a very pretty lacy melt glass plate down there. I would be very curious to look at that. I've already spent too much. I didn't know Norm was gonna get me that California orange face. I, I wasn't asking for it. I just said it was gorgeous. But I love that kind of lacy melt glass plate, but it's way down there on the floor. I might, oh, here he comes. <laughs> Can you take out that metal class plate down there on the floor? That is very fancy. I don't need it, and it's got a lot of blue on it, so it's not something I would use, but only $14. Isn't yeah. that gorgeous? That looks like metal glass, right? It does, yeah. With that back design, right. yeah. So that yep. is metal glass, and she says it's metal glass. But sometimes, yeah, it looks just like metal glass, and it's... It's actually ceramic. That's gorgeous. Here's a really nice set. I have the three smaller ones. I don't have room for the bigger pieces, Wouldn't the bigger seem bowls. Like a pretty good price for that set. Oh yeah, yeah, for I think so. Like that. So that's called Woodland Country. Country? I don't know. Anyways, yeah, Woodland. Um, I love it. 
but I don't need the big bowls. And I already got the set. Just wanted to show it to you. This is very cute. Yeah, oh, it's a bendy. Huh? He's funny. Say, what's that? A bendy. Norm took the little bendy snowman out, and look at what the tag says. I'm the traveling snowman. Please take me to another booth. <laughs> That's really cute. Yeah. How fun. Well, I'll okay. head him out to a new spot. Yeah, you oh, decide. I took a picture of this thing over here. Isn't that something? Oh, look at the end table. You mean the big Le, Le Cruset? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's new. I wouldn't want to lift that with my old hands. Nice end table, huh? Isn't that nice? Well, I didn't know that George Briard made an ice bucket that looked like this. I don't think I've ever seen this before. With the tools hanging on the side, it's all in fancy gold. Yeah, he had a lot of fancy gold and everything, but I've never seen that before. Only 24. That's pretty nice. Well, there is so much more to look at here, but oh my goodness, just look at how colorful. Oh, I love that vase, but I'm just not. It's because of the doves on it. Or pigeons. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. But it's a big open vase. I don't tend to get those so much. And these are gorgeous by Hull. H-U-L-L. They're so pretty. Um, but you see how much there is to see around here. Oh, what a funny tray. Isn't that funny? A bull rider. Cowboy. That is really cute. Smaller tray. It's not huge. Very fun if you love western. Yeah, just look at all the shelving. I always find too many, too many cool things here. Oh, look at these glasses. I'm sorry to be whispering. There's customers here and I just feel kind of funny. 22 for a set of four. Um, floral fence. Aren't they sweet with a canopy? Oh, so cute. I don't need them. You wouldn't believe how much how many sets of glasses I bought this year. Oh, this is nice. I don't know who made that. Is that new? I don't know. Isn't this a great display of green? Which I love. I think I have that um, Avon bottle, but look at these. I showed these two years ago. Yeah, I can see my videos upside down. I'll have to adjust that. Aren't they cute? I almost weakened and got them last <laughs> two years ago, but I really don't know where I'd display them. It's not something really that goes in our living room. And <laughs> He's funny. Yeah. Lots of St. Patty's Day stuff. It's so quiet in here. And this always has these, uh, very uh, fancy things. Is there, is there, uh, oh, like yeah, they look like it to me. Uh, Lennox. Yep, they are llamas. Okay. Yep, aren't okay. they gorgeous? Not my colors, really. White would be cool if they were white, white, but. Oh, I love those. Not with the label on, though, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. $95 for that bottle. One for baby. And one for the duck. Oh, that's really cute inside. Hard to see. And that's very pretty Roseville in green. Of course, I would like the green better. Got a big selection of Life magazines here. 
all the way back to 1936, 27. All the way up to 52. 1947. I should find the one for February. That's my birth date. I think Norm and I have this much pheasant stuff at home. Wow, a lot of those. We have uh, so much. You wouldn't believe it. I I intend to show it all someday. Kind of a shaker there. Yeah, I've got probably two of them. Really? Oh yeah, Steve had so much of it. It's all from my brother. This is a pretty display with the turquoise and green background. Mm, very pretty. Oh, nice little juice set. Uh, 140 for them. But that's the juice size. Smaller pitcher, very pretty. These, I think, are so sweet. I just love these little magnets, especially that turtle. That's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. I bought, like, three the last time we were here. That were, like, a big eagle. A beautiful eagle I bought. And probably snowman or something. Look at the angels. They're so cute. Yeah, it's a lot of work. It's plastic canvas. Can opener. <laughs> oh, a little calculator. A fake one. Probably. <laughs> oh, look at the iron. Two dollars. An old iron. Ha! Oh, that's really cute. Thistle pattern. That's kind of cool. Now, did you do all the Pyrex up front? Yeah. yeah, I did. Okay. No. Yeah. A lot of books, too, if you like books. There's a little bubble light set. All new in the box. Such a pretty press glass. Candy dish, 18 only. It's really reasonable for the size. Very nice. I have one like that. Probably different colors for the egg. Wow, there's a whole display here of um, uh, blown glass earrings. Really, really fancy. $20, that's pretty reasonable for Oh my, just look at all of it. That would be fun to look through. Oh wow. Pretty elaborate. Oh wow. Longer ones over here. Mm. Nice. This is a very fancy area. And you wouldn't believe these bottles of perfume. They're giant. Obsession for 125, 175. I don't know what this one is. I can't read it. I'm sure you'll be able to read it in the film though. Isn't that some bottle? <laughs> That's very cool. Look at these. Thank you for watching.